And we took a team uh, just this, uh, this past month to uh, the Zambezi Valley to run Revival, to run VBS, to help with the water project. And uh, just so happened that Paul Bacon called me mm, not more than a month before I was to leave on the trip and asked if I wanted to take one of the solar projectors from Good News Productions. And of course I said, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, because we're talking primitive bush, they don't have electricity. Uh, the only power they'll have is what would come by solar power. And so to see that uh, coming together, and then he started asking me what languages. Well, I told him the languages that they spoke, that they might understand. Uh, but I never dreamed that we would actually have uh, the Jesus film in the, in the Tonga language for the Batonga people. Um, the night we showed the movie, was uh, very powerful um, for me very emotional because I had I, I remember growing up there as a child and I remember uh, those resources there's none of that would have been available I mean they were just then starting to have written language that they could read uh, the songbooks being put together and that kind of thing and so um, we were able to show the Jesus film on the side of a hut uh, in the bush of the Zambezi Valley uh, and there were over 200 Batanga who showed up that night, walking through the dark, uh, coming up. We had, for some reason, somebody had thought glow necklaces would be a great idea to take. And so as they would show up, the, uh, I started the movie with, a, with five kids on the front row. And they never moved from their seats during the entire time. And they were glued there. And I was very concerned because the noise, the, I wasn't sure I could get enough volume out of the speakers. Uh, if a crowd picked up. And sure enough, the dogs would start to bark and a crowd would come out of the dark and we'd put glow necklaces on them and they'd gather up but they would they would move in very quietly and very slowly and sit down uh, just in rapt attention to the film uh, for some of them they had never even seen a moving picture before uh, but they've never been able to hear the story of the gospel of luke in their own language and video form like that uh, i was i was i was impressed by how captured they were as uh, it came to the passion of the christ uh, most of the crowd was there by then. I don't think anybody came uh, after the trial. Uh, it, we had all 200 of them gathered by that point. So they all saw that and heard that in, in their own language, in their heart language. Um, the, uh, the one point I remember the most was when they first struck Jesus and the whole crowd gasped because they were caught into it that much. And I was speaking to uh, the young man, Shepherd, who had led us there and uh, coordinated all the efforts. Uh, he's not Batanga, but he's got a heart for people who are lost and who need Jesus. And uh, he says, Bruce, what you, what you need to understand is they're experiencing that now. It's like real time for them. It's happening right now for them. And so we, uh, we offered an invitation, prayed with them, and, uh, and watched God move in a powerful way, um, frankly because the Holy Spirit had coordinated all the events of the trip in such a way to bring together the right resources to, uh, to do what we would have never thought to do on our own. So uh, we really do uh, thank the Lord for Good News Productions, for the difference they're making, and for an opportunity to be a part of watching that change and transform lives. That projector will continue to be used in that area, and with the Shona people, uh, we put it in the hands of Shepherd Zoe, and he will use it as he goes out and evangelizes it further into the bush as well. So uh, powerful, powerful tool uh, that I would encourage you to use.